Real Talk is proudly sponsored by Huawei P20 Pro and MTN. Each week for 10 weeks, we're giving away the latest Huawei P20 Pro and 10 gigabytes once-off MTN data to 10 amazing storytellers. All you have to do is share your special moments with us. Follow at Huawei ZA and at MTN ZA and tag us with hashtag Huawei P20 and hashtag Real Talk Moments. We want to see and hear your stories and create lasting connections across the country. Each week, there's a different theme. So keep checking our social pages for details and you could be a winner. So today, MTN and Huawei are sending us on what I'm calling Mission Smile. It's all about sharing those special moments and connecting with great people. The kid we're profiling today is only 15 years old and he was born with half facial paralysis. He struggled through life. He's been in quite a dark space and I know he's an absolute adventure lover. So the goal today is to head underground. Hello guys. Hi, are you hi. Married? Can you? There we have. There we've got the family and you Brandon. How's it going? Fine. You ready for some excitement? Yeah. Cool guys, let's rock and roll. Moby syndrome is basically um, the children, not, not everyone knows about Moby syndrome. Um, it's, it affects the vision. It has also to do with your hearing and your facial um, muscles and everything. When he was born, um, as a mother, I felt um, I did something wrong. Um, and I think most mothers and, well, most parents feel that way, but it, it happens. It's either, um, it comes through di uh, the genes that you don't know about, and um, there's nothing you can do about it. Only improve, do improvements on it. Having a condition like that, if you, can, if you can overcome it and get through it, you come out on the other side a better and stronger person. And I think that's the goal of, of this young man's parents, is they want to build up his confidence. They've obviously done the reconstructive surgery. They want to make sure that, um, that he starts integrating into society again and he gets that confidence to be whoever he wants and become whatever he wants to become. There's quite an important analogy here because we are going into a dark space, into a cave and for Brandon, he's probably been in a dark place for a long time. He's had his reconstructive surgery and I think he's realized there's light at the end of the tunnel and hopefully by the end of today, we'll see some light at the end of the tunnel. Are you guys ready for this? Ready. <laughs> Not scared, Brandon. Yeah. Hey, you face bigger challenges in your life, haven't you? Yeah. This is nothing. Walk in the park. Let's yes. do it. Brandon's dream was to explore the caves. He's very, um, he likes to explore different things. Like, um, he's not like a normal child. He likes to go and do adventures and stuff. So it was a big surprise. He, did, he didn't expect it. And you could see he, he was intervening like much more than he normally does. Brandon's like any other young kid. He's a young boy that's adventurous. He wants to get out into the great outdoors. He's never been to the State for Sand Caves. This is the, the cradle of humankind. And, uh, and it's an important place for any young boy to come and explore. Do you like shiny stuff, Brandon? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I also do. For me as a parent, um, the operation was for me the, the worst ordeal to go through. Um, they had to remove a muscle out of Brandon's upper limb and insert it in behind his ear into his face and connect it with all his muscles in his face so that he can have a face expression. And it's a very crucial operation because his hearing can be affected. These hashtag Real Talk moments mean so much to me, especially on a day like this where, where you can actually go into a situation and see a smile on a kid's face. Brandon, you've had an awesome day, huh? Yeah. Hey, we've Very had the best time connecting with, uh, with Brandon. He's been through such a tough time recently, but he's at, the, he's at the top of it. He's working his way through it. He's got himself some wisdom by stroking the hand. And Zodba, thank you for being the best uh, tour You're guide welcome. ever. You're welcome.
from my side, a big shout out to our sponsors. Thank you, YWA and MTN, for making these hashtag Real Talk moments possible. And also to the Smile Foundation. They, they, they're the foundation that helped Brandon. They got him the right doctor, a specialist that flies in once a year from overseas to, to fix kids with these issues. Um, they've supported this family throughout their difficult journey. And this, doing this is just so rewarding. I hope you guys had fun. We did, uh, thank you. I've got a lot of respect for both of you because you've, you've both been through the most together. Thanks. So on behalf of our, our sponsors, YWA and MTN, just a small little token, a little gift for you. Thank just a you. thank you for, for connecting with us today and sharing these moments. And I'd really like if we can shoot a little video for Azania back in studio. Say so hello, Azania. Hello, Azania. There you go. Azania, I just want to say again, we've connected with a fantastic family. Brandon, he's been through the most and he's struggled through, through life. He's, he's been in a dark place and hopefully there's light at the end of the tunnel. But for me, it's the worst that in today's society, if you're different, you get judged. It shouldn't be like that. And for me, as a mother, um, if I can give advice to parents out there, um, the bullying, if we can just have a look at children and educate children, on bullying. 100%. Let's stop the bullying. Much love. Cheers, Azania. Bye bye. Real Talk is proudly sponsored by Huawei P20 Pro and MTN. Each week for 10 weeks, we're giving away the latest Huawei P20 Pro and 10 gigabytes once-off MTN data to 10 amazing storytellers. All you have to do is share your special moments with us. Follow at YWayZA and at MTNZA and tag us with hashtag YWayP20 and hashtag RealTalkMoments. We want to see and hear your stories and create lasting connections across the country. Each week there's a different theme, so keep checking our social pages for details and you could be a winner.